Riot is making some huge changes to competitive League of Legends. They are changing the LCS and Academy format. They're changing the schedules. They're changing the way the summer and spring splits work and a whole bunch of other stuff that we're going to go over. But I'm going to try to keep it fairly short because there's a lot of stuff to go over in Riot's announcement. Uh, but... You know, I will have a link to it, of course, if you guys want to check it out for yourself, but let's just go over these changes. During the regular season, there's going to be three LCS days a week, with those being on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. Then on Saturdays and Sundays, there's going to be four LCS games, followed by an Academy game. Monday will have three Academy games, followed by two LCS games, which they're calling Monday Night League. And if you look on the left there at Friday, you'll see it says Academy Rush, which is Riot's new show where Academy players will play five games at the same time, and they'll have shoutcasters and analysts looking at all the different games to show you highlights and important parts from those games. And the final game will be shown in full, though I'm sure we'll have the ability to watch the other games in full as well. The regular season for the LCS is going to stay just about the same. It's going to be a two-split format, spring and summer, like we're used to, a nine-week season, like we're used to, and then best of ones, like we're used to. But the playoffs are where things get the changes, and it depends on whether it is the spring or summer split. At the end of the spring split, the best six teams are going to move on to a best of five bracket. And thankfully, they gave us this image to help explain it. It's pretty similar to the LEC. So this is how the spring playoffs work. The first seed gets to choose which seed they'll compete against. So as you can see here, it'll be the first seed against the fourth. In this example, at least. The second seed faces off against whoever the first seed did not pick, so in this case, they would get the third. Whoever loses drops down to the loser's bracket and goes against the fifth and sixth seeds. If you lose in the loser's bracket at all, you are eliminated from the tournament. If you lose in the second round of the winner's bracket, you'll drop down to the loser's bracket and compete there. So in that case, if you drop down from the winners to the loser's bracket, you'll still have a chance to win the finals. Whoever wins gets to go to the midseason invitational. Then we get to the summer playoffs where they take the best eight teams and it becomes a best of five bracket. So on week one, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the first and second seeds automatically start out in week two, where again, the first seed picks who they want to go against and the second gets the leftovers then as it goes down it eventually comes down to the winner of the losers bracket versus whatever team is winning in the winners bracket just like the typical double elimination format the top three teams from the summer playoffs get to go to worlds there's no more regional qualifier there's no more championship points games will take place on saturdays and sundays for the spring split It'll be expanded once the summer split comes along, which we'll get more information on once that time comes around. And then Academy games are going to work pretty similar to the LCS. It's going to be the same format, nine weeks, two splits, spring and summer, and best of ones. But then we get to the playoffs where the top six teams advance to compete and it becomes best of five games, where again, the top two teams don't have to compete in the quarterfinals and... Well, it's pretty typical tournament format. The LCS starts on January 25th and the Academy games start on January 24th. So we're almost there, but I gotta say, I am really excited for these changes, actually. The fact that playoffs are always best of fives now, uh, the fact that they're giving more attention towards Academy and actually giving more viewership towards it, because that is very important. That is very important for the LCS, NA specifically, where you've got bigger regions like the LEC and the LCK, where they've got bigger talent pools. We're having a hard time finding really good NA pros here. So them putting more attention towards Academy is uh, really awesome. And I really like the best of fives because, in theory... In theory, we should be actually just getting the best teams during those splits to actually come out on top. So maybe we'll actually have a chance at Worlds this time. And we got to look at the new visual update for Volley Bear, and he looks so sick. He looks a lot like his concept art, which is exactly what I wanted because, he, I don't know, he just looks like a beast. Unfortunately, we don't have any clue of what his new abilities will be, though. Uh, this image is actually all we've got, but holy cow, am I excited to see the new Bear Man. But how do you guys feel about the LCS format changes? Do you think you're actually going to watch Academy games more now? Do you think that you'll give Academy Rush a chance? Whatever it is, guys, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. So take it easy. Have a great day. That's it. Goodbye.